gas cans suck. I don't really have to tell you that because if you are on something with an engine very often, you already know. Um, I guess it was our government that decided to take what was already a hassle and make it worse with their safety caps. This one has a red piece right here. It's a diesel can. The red piece is broken off and you have to you were supposed to push that in i don't even know if it would work now and then this lip right here has to shove down onto whatever you're refueling so you've got you're lifting up five gallons of gas weighs like 40 pounds and getting it in position then you've got to shove this in at the right angle without this little bitty lip right here popping into the funnel of the gas tank it's it's a hassle it's stupid i've got another one here five gallon gas can got this thing on the back if it was just pushing that wouldn't be bad at all but you have to push that hold it up and then force this down like that while holding it at whatever angle it's heavy you can't get a good angle it sucks too I don't use them anymore if I am gonna use a gas can there's a specific kind that I like called the sure can and at the end of the video, I'll show you how those work and how I have them set up on my mowing trailer. In the meantime, I wanna show you what I did as a replacement for gas cans. Behind me are two refueling stations. I've got one set up for gas and I've got one set up for diesel. I'm getting ready to splice in a clip that shows me at Tractor Supply walking through. It shows what I bought and it shows what it cost. All right, here I am at Tractor Supply. Um, if you don't have Tractor Supply in your area, probably any farm and home supply store is gonna work. I chose the 50 gallon tank that you see here because 50 gallon is a size that is easily portable for me, but also will last quite a while. So I built pallets to put under them. You'll see that in a minute so that I can easily pick the transfer tank up with my forks on my tractor. This is the part of the video where I wander down the wrong aisle. And around the corner, you'll see all the fuel transfer pumps. I went with a pump that gets 8 gallons per minute. 12 volt pump that can run off of a mower battery or an inverter. And then you obviously want to keep fuel and contaminants or water and contaminants out of your fuel. So I picked up one of these fuel filters. And then on the same aisle, they sell a filter, fuel filter installation kit, which basically just adapts you from the threads on the tank to the fuel filter. Before I show the refueling stations, my 2038R has to make a cameo in pretty much every video. Great tractor. If you want more information on John Deere compact tractors, I've got lots of videos on that. Okay, so these are the refueling tanks. This one, as you can see, is for diesel, and this is the gas. Okay, so they are 50 gallon tanks. I went with 50 gallons because I transport these with my tractor and I wanted a weight that I could easily set into the back of my truck. 50 gallons at 8 pounds per gallon, this weighs about 400 pounds with the tank and the, the homemade pallet, we're looking at 650, 700 pounds, very easily set in my truck. Okay, <clears throat> so I generally keep my fork set at the same distance all the time. So I set this pallet up. It All it is is three quarter inch plywood with four by fours underneath. Space on those is just right where the fork can fit on them, but no matter, even if I try, I can't get it to slide off the end. So I couldn't drop it unless I tilted the forks forward, obviously. Okay, then I've got the pumps, as I showed in the video. 
and the fuel filters. These are super easy to operate. Whenever you pull the pump handle out, and you just lift this little lever there, it turns the pump on. Okay, right now I have them both ran to a battery, and I did have this battery hooked to a solar panel until I decided to move the tanks, and right now I don't have it hooked up. But I'm going to run a permanent power source. I've already got everything laid out to run electricity to this building. It's going to come through the wall over here, and that will be how I power those. Immediately I'll start with just a battery charger on this battery which it's lasting a long time with how often the pumps actually run. Now I think I'll go ahead and pick them up and show you how they load. And there you go, ready for fuel. I almost forgot that I was going to review the type of gas can that we use. So it's getting dark, but we'll get it anyway. So these are called Sure Cans. They're a great solution because you can refuel without removing the can from the vehicle. <clears throat> Let's pop the cap off. It drops down. Got a squeeze handle on the top. Super easy compared to the other types. So if you wanna waste some gas out next to your trailer, it's not hard. They have a lock on the top. This one doesn't have a padlock on it, but you pop the lock off right there, and then the can, the sure cage, lifts off with the can. If you ever do need to remove it, but I just don't remove them. Fill the can there, and then I've got the same thing for the uh, weed eater blowers we've got our mixed fuel here so that's the only type of gas cans i still use